here we go. Shorter and Pollock to jump center. And the tip comes down. Well, there's a scrum for it, and X comes out of there with it. Gives to Pollock outside to Malco. Now Rochester sets it up going to our left. Malco drives the paint. Pull-up jumper at the free throw line off the back of the iron. No good. And the rebound to Brogdon. Winnemag at the basketball going to our right. Winnemag in the all-maroon. Maroon shorts, maroon jerseys, white numbers, white letters. The Rochester Lady Zebras in all white. White shorts, white jerseys. Three for Brogdon. He is in and out. No good. And Keaton Stasiak comes in and skies to the board and grabs it and gives to Malco. Quick trigger by Bethany Brogdon. She's not scared of those threes. That's what she's been like the entire career. Yeah. Lot pass in low to B. B off the glass is good. Rochester strike first. It's two to nothing. And those little bunny shots are going to be extremely important in a ball game like this for the Lady Zebras. That's where Rochester made their living on Tuesday night at Lewis Cass. Two nothing Rochester. Ball tipped away and stolen by Murphy. Now Malco runs to our left. Malco through the center circle. Top of the key. In the paint. Leaner on the way. is No good. Too hard. And the rebound to Larkin. Uh, makes up to Ingram. Now gives off to Brogdon. Now Brogdon sets up. She'll walk through the center circle. Rochester in a 1-3-1 zone defensively. Right side to Brandt. Now in the corner to Larkin. Larkin back to Brandt. High on the right side. Now top of the key to Ingram. Swings left side to Brogdon. Brogdon. Cross court pass in the corner to Larkin. Step back three on the way. Good. Win a back up three to two. With a minute 20 gone here in the ballgame. It's one thing to play a zone, but you've always got to be aware of where those three-point shooters are at. Brogdon went from the left wing and to the right corner. X is running and layup is good, and Rochester back up, four to three. Nice step back hesitation, acceleration by Alexa Holland to put the Zebras back up. Brand now on the right side, behind the arc in the corner to Larkin. She'll fire another three from the right baseline. No good, off the back of the iron, and Brogdon knocks the basketball out of bounds. It'll go back to Rochester. And Brogdon about to be careful. That uh, almost was could have been called for over the back. No call, but Rochester gets it back after she knocked it out of bounds. 6-13 to play, first quarter. 4-3 Winnemac, and Holland brings it through the center circle for the Lady Zebras. Man-to-man -man defense for Winnemac. Top of the key now, hesitates behind her. Uh, steps back, now accelerates to the left elbow, and she's going to be fouled on the push. Boy, yeah, a little touch foul there. Brogdon, Brogdon. Brogdon. Yeah, and Brogdon did a whole lot more down here offensively than she did there defensively. That'll be the first With foul on anybody. 22, Bethany Brockton. Six minutes to play, first quarter. Rochester by one, four to three. And Murphy will trigger it in right in front of the Winnemac bench. Murph studies. Lobs it in over the timeline to Malco. And she'll cross the timeline, middle of the floor for Rochester. Going to our left, right side. Lob pass down little Pollock. Good hands by Pollock. Has a strip from behind by Ingram. And now Winnemac runs. Makes that to Larkin. Larkin now with a basketball. Left side to Ingram. Ingram behind the arc. Gives top to Brogdon. Fakes a three, now in the right corner to Larson. Now quickly to Brogdon, jumper from the free throw line. It's on the way and good. Bethany Brogdon has her first through the game, and Winnemac back on top five to four. They move that ball quickly. They find the open shooter. X spot up three off the back of the rim. No good. Ingram with the rebound, and she gets off to Larkin. Lady Zebras have to be careful not to get caught up in a track right here with, exactly. with this Winnemac team. It may not work out in their favor. Uh, it's probably a pretty good chance it won't work out in their favor. You're right. Corner to Larkin. Bounce pass right wing to Brant. Now to Ingram just inside the arc. Her jumper's good. Nice friendly roll for an away team. And now Winnemac up by three. It's seven to four. Five minutes to play in the first. X high on the right side for the Lady Zebras. Down by three. And the shot's no good. Brogdon with the rebound. It's left side now for the Lady Warriors. 7-4 lead for Winnemac. And Brogdon's pocket's almost picked. Loose ball picked up by Ingram to Brogdon. Left corner, wide open three on the way for Larkin is good. Allie Larkin has six of the ten points. And it's 6-4. to four. Rochester will take a 30-second timeout. You're listening to Lady Zebra Basketball, 92.1 WROI. <laughs> Coca-Cola Bodily Company of Plymouth wants you to enjoy your world. And now the basketball, swimming and wrestling are back. And college and pro football continue. There's plenty to do. So whether it's heading for the gym, holiday open houses, and getting together with friends and family, grab the refreshingly clean taste of Coca-Cola, Diet Coke, Coke Zero, Sprite, and Sprite Zero. Make sure you have plenty of Coca-Cola products on hand, either from the store or the vending machine. Coca-Cola products go great with everything you do. It's the real thing. It's Coca-Cola. Basketball, WROI. Trailing the Winnemac Lady Warriors 10 to 4, and after the Rochester timeout, the Lady Zebras will have it going to our left. Brad Thomas, I'm David Musselman. X has the top of the key. 
Back to Brogdon to the free throw line. Kicks it out to Murphy. Her three, no good. Ball being tipped around. Brogdon comes out of the with it and loses it out of bounds. It'll stay with Rochester. Uh, something we haven't seen from the Lady Zebras is the outside shooting has not been very uh, accurate yet in this ball game where the Lady Warriors already with two threes. And the shot is up, no good. Battle for the rebound comes down to Brant and Winnemag. And Taylor Brandt walks it across the timeline right. Now gives to Brogdon at the free throw, at the volleyball line. High on the left side to Ingram. Now to Larkin, back to Ingram on the left wing. Top to Brandt. I don't believe Shorter has even touched the ball yet. Long three for Ingram is no good. And Stasiak grabs the board, gives to Malco. The Lady Zebras run to our left. Malco goes to the baseline, steps back, gives to Murphy high on the right side. Murph swings it to the left side and back. Holland, top of the key, three over Brogdon on the way. Good as it rolls around and falls through. That's an important three-pointer with the Lady Warriors in that 2-3 zone. They need to try and bring that out and break, make up some uh, passing lanes down low. 10-7, Winnemac on top. Brand has it, now to Ingram outside left. Back to Ingram, top of the key, right side to Brogdon. She'll fire a three from the right wing. That girl's nothing but air. Steers the act with a rebound. And now to Malco. Becky, middle of the floor, go coast to coast, left hand, the lamp is up and good. Nice job by Becky Malco using the left hand through traffic and getting that to go off the glass. I don't think she had any, no breaks on that one. Yeah, she, she, was, even go <laughs> she was going to the basket regardless. Yeah. And you're right, Shorter has not yet touched the basketball right. between Murphy and Pollock. She's really had a tough go trying to post up down low. Ingram, just inside the arc, her 15-footer is good. Michaela Ingram has a couple of more, and it's 12-9 Winnemac with 2.50 to play in the first quarter. And with Larkin and Ingram shooting like they are, Shorter may not have to touch the ball. Murph at the free throw line, cut off by the double team in the corner to Malco. Fakes, a couple of dribbles, step back three on the way for the sophomore. Short, no good, the rebound put back is by X, no good. Pollock bites for the board, gives to Malco, kicks it out to Murphy. She's up out of three, will set it up to X on the right side. Nice feed inside to Pollock, nice. Feed the end of Stasiak, and Keaton is fouled on the shot. She'll go to the line to shoot two. Well, good ball movement there by the Lady Zebras. As uh, Murphy looked at a three, but realized she was a little too far out from the range. And a uh, good inbound, in, uh, good in pass by Holland to Pollock, and then Pollock was able to hit Stasiak wide open on the outside. Wide open, you're right. So Stasiak will have two. First one for the sophomore is good. She'll have one more. And for the first time tonight, Stephanie Chris, the 5'4 junior, and Ingram will sit. Brad Thomas, I'm David Musselman. Stasiak with one more to cut the lead to one for the Lady Warriors. Keaton eyes a second one and lets her fly, and it's good again. 12 to 11, Winnemac. Two and a half to play in the first quarter. Free throws might be an important factor in this ball game. Rochester shot 30 free throws to Lewis Cass's two last Tuesday night. Wow. Did you hear me? Yeah, 30. Pass is going by Malco. Malco will go around for the right-handed layup. It's hard off the glass, oh. no good. And we're going to have a foul for over the back. Yep. And those are the kind of buckets you just got to have. You get the good defensive effort and make force the turnover, and then you can't finish on the open layup. Nice hitting move by Bethany Brogdon. I really think Malco was expecting some contact. Yeah. She threw right. it up hard yeah. on the glass, yeah. and it didn't go. And you can give that missed shot to Brogdon. I mean, that doesn't go down to any. She hustled back and yeah. made, a, made a little effort at the at the defensive end. Half-court trap by the Lady Zebras. The ball's stolen by X. Holland in the middle of the floor. 4 one break. She throws up a shot off the window. It goes. Rochester's up 13 to 12. It was a one on four break. Yeah, give Carly Murphy the credit for that steal down here. She stepped in the passing lane and saved it from going out of bounds. Shorter now on the left side being double teamed. She drives the baseline against Murphy and she's going to be fouled. As Murph was riding her hip pretty good. Nice first step by Stephanie Shorter. You know, they're making an effort to call those little uh, check fouls a little closer this year at all levels of, yeah. of the game. Right. A little hand checks. Should have called that today at uh, Michigan. <laughs> <laughs> step back three for Larkin is short. Daisy Ackman on the board. That's her third. And I'll give it to Holland. X runs to our left. Left side of the floor. Her spot up three on the way is in and out. No good in the rebound of Brogdon. Boy, that was down and that came back. It was. A minute and a half to play. First quarter. Rochester by one to 13 to 12. Have to get Ryan to tighten the screws on the rim a little <laughs> bit more. Brogdon at top of the key at the elbow. Jump pass to Larkin in the corner. Larkin being double teamed. Now to Brandt. Now top of the key to Chris. Now to Brogdon for three. Nope. Too hard. Murphy. Good block out. Grabs the board. Gives to Malco. 1.15 to play. First quarter. Rochester by one. 
And I think uh, Coach Stasiak might want to shoot for the final shot here of the period. Falco gets a pick at the elbow left. Almost loses the handle. Gets it back in the lane. Kicks it outside to B. Now to Holland. Holland against Brogdon. She wanted to shoot. Yeah, she did. Now outside to Malco, and she backs it into the center circle. A little reset for the Rochester Lady Zebras. So we're up by one, 13-12, with time winding down here in the first period. We're down to 45 seconds of play in the first quarter. Now high on the left side to Murphy. Murphy against Morant. The man-to-man -man defense with 40. Picks up her dribble. Gives a Stasiak in the corner. Keaton a couple of dribbles. Bounce pass to Murphy with 35. Murphy holds above her head. Here comes the double dribble, or the double team, and she has her pocket picked by Brandt. Brandt, right side of the floor, pick, gives it down low to, to uh, Larkin, and Larkin's shot is blocked out of bounds by Stasiak, but... By Malco, but I think they're going to catch her, they're going to call her for the foul, which I think is unfortunate, because I thought she made a good move on the ball. So... And it's going to send Allie Larkin to the line to shoot two, and she has found the shot with 25 seconds to play. In the first quarter, you're right, Brad. It was on to Becky Malco to be her first. And Larkin, I believe, with six points here in this quarter, looking for seven and eight here with two freebies. She had two big threes early on. First one on the way for the sophomore is good, and she'll have one more. We're tied at 13. Back into the game is Michaela Ingram and Brandt to sit. One more coming for Larkin. Alley, second one, good again. 14-13, Winnemag. 25 seconds to play, first quarter. Rochester, the basketball, going to our left. Holland crosses the timeline with 20. Hands off to Malco with 17. She dribbles in the middle of the floor with 15. Between her legs with 14. Just pass to X with 13. We're going to have a foul down low on Brogdon. If that's the case, it'll be foul number two on Bethany Brogdon. And quickly, Coach Wagner will go back to the bench and send back in Taylor Brandt. Winnipeg foul number 22, Bethany Brockton. Brandt back in. It'll be Rochester basketball on about baseline left with 12.8 seconds to play in the first quarter. Lady Warriors leading 14-13. Holland looks to get it in. B study. Gets it in in the corner to Malco with 10. Becky now brings it out top with 8. Dribbles with the left hand, out to X with six. Her three on the way is good. With three seconds, with two seconds, with one second, and that'll do it. After one, Rochester leads 16-14. You're listening to Lady Zebra Basketball, 92.1 WROI. You could camp out at department stores in the wee hours of the morning to save a few hundred bucks. Or you could save thousands at the Big Finish Black Friday sale in Rochester at Mike Anderson Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. This Friday, Saturday, and Monday, you can literally save enough to pay for your whole holiday. And we're not talking about leftovers either. Drive home a 2014 Dodge Dart for just $19,303. Or a 2014 Jeep Compass Latitude 4x2 for just $22,600. 59. Mike Anderson has something for everyone, including the credit challenge. We don't care if you've been turned down before. We'll get you the credit you deserve during this giant three-day sales event. So don't hang out at the mall. Shop where the savings will rock your world. Mike Anderson Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram at 1702 Main Street in Rochester or at MikeAndersonCDJ.com. It's the Big Finish Black Friday sale at Mike Anderson Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. You don't want to miss it. Zebra Basketball, WROI. It's cool, the Lady Zebras, after a big three-point bomb by Alexa Holland as the first quarter comes to an end, leads here 16-14. Alexa Holland with 10 points in that first quarter. Allison Larkin for the Lady Warriors with eight. Stephanie Shorter touched the ball twice. Yeah. You know, I, don't, I don't think she has yet to take a shot. Yeah, you're right. Back into the game is Chris. She'll run the point for the Lady Warriors. Sends in the corner to Brandt. Now man, right wing man, to hand by Rochester. We haven't seen that. We have not. You're right. Chris Jumper is short and back in. And it hits off the front of the iron. It hits off the backboard and goes in. And now we're tied. It's no, Wittemac up now. 17-16. Should be 16 all. Okay. 16-16. That's what I thought, too. Yeah. Malco, left side behind the arc. Nobody guarding her. Gives in the corner to Murph. Murph. Couple of dribbles, left wing to Malco. She penetrates left side, kicks it out to Murphy behind the arc three on the way. No good. B with the rebound. Put back. Good. Rochester up 18 16. There's no way that was a three pointer, was it? I don't think so. Maybe it was. 
I thought she stepped in. Brand down low to Shorter over Stasiak. Her jumper's good on the lane. 19-18 is what the score is right now. Winnemack back up. Holland works to the middle of the floor. Holland. Now high on the left side to Malco. 19-18. Winnemack on top. Baseball pass across court. Goes into the stand. The coach's kid throws it big. Yeah, he's letting her know about it, too. <laughs> Make the easy pass, he says. So, ladies, he's back into that 1-3-1. One, one. Man to man, shorter, gets the ball and scores. Yeah, that was easy, wasn't it? Yep. Brent, top to Ingram, three in the way. Nope. And the rebound fought for and goes off the hands of Malco out of bounds. It'll stay with Winnemack baseline right. That's the other advantage of that 1-3-1 one, one, is you got four people already in position for rebounding. Yeah, right. So. Brandt to trigger it in underneath her own basket, baseline right. Taylor, live pass into Shorter, top of the key. Stephanie Shorter now gives off to Chris, now left side to Ingram. Ingram behind the arc to Chris, top of the key, now right side to Brandt. She'll take a wide open three, right wing, in and out, and no good. Stasiak, another board. Keaton clears to Murphy, now ahead to Holland. Holland left side of the floor for Lady Zebras, down by one. She backs it out now, will reset, top of the key, now works high on the right side. Now gives it to Malco, between the rings, at the volleyball line. Now high on the right side to Holland. With Pollock up at the lane, it looks like Shorter playing her man-to-man -man while everybody else is Like a box and one. Yeah, yeah, exactly. you're right. Murph, left corner, one dribble, back to Malco, left wing, high, top key to X, a long three, good as it bangs in. And that's how you beat that box and one, especially when you're the one not being boxed. 21-19. Takes them open shots. Ingram, left side, now to... Larkin, she fires another three and it goes again. Larkin, uh, uh, three of the night, yeah. as, well, as well as Holland. So he's had a great look all three times. Yeah. 22 21, Winnemack. Holland, right wing, top to Malco. Malco, left corner to Murph. And Coach Stasiak says, hey, let's run some clock here. As now Keaton Stasiak has it on the right wing. Stasiak drives, kicks it out to Holland, top to Malco. Becky drives left, out to Murphy in the corner to Stasiak. Keen back to Murph, quickly to Holland, right side, the wide open down low to Malco, and she is found on the baseline, I believe, shooting. It will be on the shot, and she'll go to the line to shoot two. I kind of thought Brant had herself in position there to stop that drive to the basket. But they're going to say she got her off the wrist for shooting. Back to shooting. Five minutes to play in the first half. Brant's first, team fourth. Malco's first free throw is no good off the back of the iron. She'll have one more looking to tie the score up at 22 with five minutes to play in the second quarter. Malco ready. Eyes her second one. Let's her go, and it's good, and we're tied at 22. Larkin across the right side of the timeline to Brant. Rochester in a 2-3 zone, quickly to Chris. Another three left wing, no good. Weak side rebound to Brand. Her putback is no good. Short of the rebound. Her putback is no good. Murphy on the board for Rochester. Murph runs. We're tied at 22. Middle of the floor is Rochester. Murph coast to coast. Throws up a shot. She's going to go to the line to shoot two. And Stephanie Shorter going to pick up her first foul of the game. Well, Shorter did a good job of getting back. She was just trying to guard against the cross-court pass. Didn't have her feet underneath of her when she turned around to try and block Murph. Currently Murphy the line to shoot two for Rochester. We're tied at 22 with 420, uh, 438 to play in the first half. First one for Murphy is no good. She'll have one more. And the free throw is starting to uh, get the Lady Zebras. Three of four, three of five right now from the line. And every one of these in a close ball game like this one are important. As Murph gets ready to eye her second one. Second one for Murph is no good again and short over the rebound. I got it confirmed. Did you? Score's right. It was a three. Okay. Well, so we give Chris the three from earlier. That's right. Shorter on the left baseline. Kicks it out to Brandt. Now to Larkin. She has her three shot blocked, but Murphy got some arm, and that's going to send Allie Larkin to the line to shoot free, uh, three free throws for the Lady Warriors. Number 20. Call that on Malco. That's Malco. her second. Oh, no, it is on Malco. Over there. Shooting. So that's going to send a Coach Stasiak to the bench. 
So Larkin's going to get a three the old-fashioned one here as she makes her first one. One more, or make that two more coming for the sophomore Larkin. She's got 12 points here already. Second one is good again. Winamac up now by two, 4.23 to play. First half. Alexa Garrett for Rochester, Rochester coming in. A 5'9 freshman for Rochester. And now Coach Stasiak before the third free throw will take a 60-second timeout. You're listening to High School Girls Basketball, 92.1 WROI. And we're all about that. It's all in the name, and at All About Pets, it really is all about pets. All About Pets, downtown Rochester, is your locally owned pet store that caters to you and your pet. They work hard to bring the very best in pet supplies to our area. Choose from premium pet foods, pet health care supplies, toys and treats, small animal food, pet accessories, fish, and aquarium supplies. That's All About Pets, one block north of the courthouse on Main Street in Rochester. Their only business is to enhance the happiness of your pet. And we're all about Fulton County Best One Tire is so much more than just tires. They offer a complete line of service with quality you can depend on. Ask their friendly staff about an oil change, transmission flush, brake service, alignment, or even an engine replacement. Or stop by and see their experts about a custom exhaust. They also keep the area's largest tire inventory in stock. Right now, you can take advantage of great rebate programs. Just call Doug or Todd at 223-2103. Fulton County Best One Tire where the most important person to them is you. They're located at the corner of Fort Wayne Road and Highway 25 North in Rochester. Back at Rochester High School, Larkin after the timeout goes three for three at the line to push Lady Warriors uh, Three-point lead at 25-22 with 4.15 to play in the first half. Lark right now with, with, I'm sorry, Larkin now with 14. Yeah. Sh shorter with nothing. Yeah. And Larkin with the, carrying the load right now for Lady Warriors. Shorter's got two. Two, okay. Yep. Four minutes to play first half. Murphy high on the right side against the zone. Down low to uh, Garrison. Gives to Keaton Stasiak in the lane. Her shot's partially blocked. A late foul coming. And I believe that's going to send Stasiak to the line to shoot two. Palmer. Four, two, three. What am I number 42, McKenzie Howard. Foul coming against McKenzie Howard, her first team sixth against the Lady Warriors. McKenzie Howard, a 5'7 junior in the game. Also handed a grew to 5'6 junior in the game for Winnemac and Stasiak. Misses wow. the first one bad. She'll have one more. I think Rochester 0 for 3, the last uh, three yeah. trips to the line, maybe more than that. 3 of 7 now from the line. And you're talking about a three-point basketball yeah. game. The free throws are important. Stays back with one more. The sophomore fires the second one. This one goes. 25-23. Winamac on top. As Brant gets it left side to DeGroot. DeGroot holds the left wing. Gives him the corner to Howard. Howard holds above her head against the double team. Gives to DeGroot. Now top to Brand. Between the rings of the volleyball line. Back to DeGroot. Bounce pass in the corner to Howard. Stands above her head against the double team. And Garrison just about gets the steal. Knocks down out of bounds. We'll see with Winnemack on the far side. Murphy and Pollock really working hard down low for the Lady Zebras. is shorter. And uh, Howard really working that paint back and forth. 3.40 to play. First half. Winnemack up 25-23. The inbounds pass goes to the group. Back to a hot Larkin. Boy, she has been on fire this yeah. first half. To Brandt. Brandt's pass is tipped, but right in the hands of DeGroote. Gets it back to Brandt, right corner to Shorter, and Shorter travels. She thought about driving baseline. Rochester sealed off that uh, driving lane and committed a turnover. But you can't lose Force track of where Larkin's at right now. With Brogdon off the floor, you've got to exactly right. collapse down on Larkin and keep her from getting those open looks. Pick your poison. Yeah. Either you double up Larkin or you double up Shorter. All right. No, right now, Larkin's the one hurting you. Yeah, you're right. 25-23, 3-10 to play, first half. Murphy for three, and the lead is short. And short over the board. Give to Larkin. Allie Larkin runs for the Lady Warriors, going to our right. Leads ahead to Brand. Brand on the right wing. Nobody in her face over the top of the defense. To the group, bounce pass now to Larkin. To Howard. Down low to Shorter. Shorter against the defense. Loses the handle, picks it up. Picks, B picks it up, now gives to Murphy. 
Charlie Murphy, middle of the floor for Rochester. Down by two. Murph at the free throw line. Outside to X with 240 to play Holland, in the first half. Holland's been hot for the ladies. Yeah. He's got 13. Holland throws up a prayer. It goes. And we're tied at 25. I got 15. Two and a half to play. First half, we're tied at 25. And Larkin quickly to Brandt. Looking for Cunning Shore. Uh, Shore. Couldn't get it to her. Now the group. The Brandt. In the corner to Shorter, Stephanie gives to a cutting to Groot, loses it through her hands, nice hefty play by Brandt to get the ball to Larkin, back to Brandt, right side, down low to DeGroot, off her head, and make that to Shorter, off her head and into the hands of Stasiak, who runs down the right side of the floor. Stasiak pulls her way into the lane, throws up a shot, blocked, picked up by Brandt. Two minutes to play, first half, Winnemack will use a 60-second timeout. You're listening to High School Girls Basketball, 92.1 WROI. Well, we're still catching every game, just a lot more from uh, home than here in the stands, huh? Yeah, and then we do get to go. Dad says we got to bring our own peanuts and stuff. Looking for some extra ticket money this season? Let a State Farm agent do a free discount double check that could save you hundreds of dollars on car insurance. We'll always be there for this team, even when we can't actually be here. Get started by contacting State Farm agent Jeff Klinkhammer at 223-3017. State Farm is there. Discounts may vary state to state. Your Fulton County REMC is proud to offer the new Faster Exceed satellite internet service. They can now connect customers to their fastest satellite internet service ever with broadband speeds up to 12 megabytes per second. For homeowners with fewer options for internet service or who live in rural areas, there's no better option browsing an email, listen to streaming music. If you're ready for a faster internet connection, you're ready for Exceed Broadband. Call 574-223-3156 today to learn more about the amazingly fast Exceed Broadband service offered by your local Fulton County REMC, your touchstone energy provider. Zebra Basketball. play in the first half. We're tied at 25. Winnemack after the timeout with the basketball. DeGruy right side to Ingram. Ingram to Shorter. Drives the right baseline. Drives under the basket. We're going to have a foul driving the basket. Oh, we're going to on the baseline. Yep, she's going to touch the, she went completely under the basket yeah. and stepped on the baseline on the left block. That's the last four possessions for Winnemack have all gone to Shorter and have all resulted in a turnover. 145 to play. First half. 25-25. Rochester the basketball going to our left. X high on the left side, letting the clock roll. We're down a minute 35 to play in the second quarter. Looks like a 2-3 zone. Now well, maybe a box of one as Howard is responsible for Pollock. Yep. Gonna guard, face guard her wherever she goes. Murph, right side. High on the right side, got a dribble, finally does right before the five second count. Now gets it out the side to X with 1-12 to play in the first half. Holland, around the defense, back to back out with 66 seconds to play in the first half. X has a pass stolen by Brandt, now Winnemack on the run, outside to Ingram. Ingram kicks it out to Brandt, left side to Howard, Howard downloaded to Groot, ball is loose, goes out of bounds, last touch by Winnemack, it'll go back to Rochester with 52 seconds to play in the first half, and with two fouls, Becky Malcolm will come back into the game, and Garrison played about three good minutes there before Rochester comes out. She did a good job the time that she was in there. The Lady Zebra defense have done a pretty good job against Winnemack yeah. with that, what, fifth straight turnover now. Holland has her ball stripped by Brandt again. Brandt runs the other way. Taylor Brandt right side of the floor, jump pass down low, is tipped away and knocked out of bounds by Rochester. We'll stay with Winnemack with 36.9 to play in the first half. Look out, Allie Larson back into the game for Rochester. And now coming back in is Garrison for Rochester. Save Malco from picking up her third. It's almost like the end of the game, offense, uh, defense You're right. situation. You're right, yep, everybody trying to keep from losing key players. Larkin will look to trigger it in, gets it into Shorter, outside to Ingram with 32. Looking for Larkin yep. in the corner, they couldn't get it to her, so they come back. To Ingram, back to Brandt with 27. Right side to Howard, stands the ball above her head with 22. Down low to Howard, will make that look to Howard. Her shot is partially blocked, picked up by Shorter, throws it up, it's good! Stephanie Shorter has her second bucket of the game and puts the Winnemack up 27 to 25 with 10 seconds. Holland with eight. Holland, three over Brand on the way is short. Rebound to Murphy with three. Her three on the way with two is short or long. 
Uh, Hollis put back and the buzzer's no good. At halftime, Winnemac leads 27-25. You're listening to High School Girls Basketball, 92.1 WROI. Right now. Rochester and Winnemac both will start with their original uh, five that they began, began the game with. And uh, that first half, it was all Allie Larkin. She did a fantastic job on the floor. Rochester did a great job on Stephanie Shorter, uh, uh, allowing her only four that first half. But Holland countered that with her 15. Yeah. So it's Holland and Larkin. Now somebody get a free throw on the Rochester side. You're right. That'd be good stuff. 2-3 zone by Winnemac. Malka loses the basketball right to the hands of Brandt. And now the Lady Warriors running to our left. Brand through the center circle. Left side to Brogdon down the corner to Larkin. Back to Brogdon. Brogdon left wing. Left her wide open. Gives to Larkin to left baseline. Back to Brogdon left wing. Bethany Brogdon a couple of dribbles. Kicks it out to Larkin. A wide open three. Left baseline is no good. Long rebound to Stasiak. Keaton run. One on three break. Keaton right side of the floor. Goes to the basket. Shot. Good foul. And she got the foul on Larkin. And that's going to be Larkin's second. So Keaton Stasiak gets one. She got the hoop and the harm, and she'll go to the line to shoot one, looking to put the Lady Zebras up by one. Allie Larkin just picked up foul number one. Two, sorry. No, number two. He has a big play by Stasiak, not only getting the bucket and the foul, but putting Larkin in foul throw. Well, it's more impressive as she ripped the board and ran up coast to coast. Yeah, you're right. Stasiak gets the free throw. Here comes the half-court trap by the Lady Warrior, uh, Lady Zebras. And the Warriors now three on the Rochester Lady Zebras, 28-27. In the corner to Larkin. Here comes the trap. Uh, top to Brogdon. Brogdon gets the double-team travel. So Coach Stasiak coming with the half-court uh, trap the basketball. I mean, even when they threw the ball cross-court to the corner, Coach Stasiak was hollering at him to get there, get there, set the trap. And it uh, worked in the Lady Zebra's favor. It's really it tough to get, turnover. get to the right wing all the way to the left baseline, but well, Rochester did it there. When the defense rack, ratchets up the intensity, it, it causes the offense to th start thinking in a hurry. Right. When they really don't need to, but it just it's just the way it works. First 15 footers too long, and the rebound to Brogdon. Bethany Brogdon for Winnemac runs to our left, now to Larson. Allie Larson had a fantastic first half. Gives back to Brogdon high on the left side. Rochester by one. Looking to get it into Shorter. Good job by Rochester's defense. Now to Shorter, left block. Throws it up over B. No good. Rebound to Mur uh, Murphy. Now to Malco. Malco, middle of the floor. And now we'll pull back outside and reset for Rochester to Murphy. Now to the side of X. X back to Murphy, right wing. Wide open is Malco. Malco in the paint. Kicks it out to Murphy, right side. Thought maybe Malco might have got away with the travel. <laughs> Back to Malco will reset things at the volleyball line. Middle of the floor. High on the left side to Holland. Right side to Murph. 28-27 Rochester. 6.05 to play in the first uh, third quarter. And the entry pass goes into Stasiak. And she goes to the basket and foul on the shot. She'll go to the line to shoot two. That's going to be Brant's second foul. So now Brogdon, yeah. Mark, and Brant foul with two. Taylor Brant at the line for the zero. Keaton Stasiak. One of the three sophomores for the Lady Zebras at the line to shoot two. Rochester up by one. 6.06 to play in the third quarter. The first on the way for Stasiak is no good off the back of the range. We'll have one more. This is the fourth trip to the free throw line for Stasiak tonight. He's done a good job pushing the ball. Getting there. On offense and a good job defensively of getting herself in yeah. position for the rebounds. Now let's knock him down. Second one for Stasiak is good this time. 29-27. Rochester on top. Six minutes to play, third quarter. Now Brogdon will work against that half-court half trap. Ingram is top. Over the top of the defense to Shorter. Now to Brant. Now to Brogdon. Quickly to Larkin. To a cutting Brant. Down low to Shorter. Shorter's laid up. Good foul. Yep, he fell like too late getting back to cover Shorter, and she's going to pick up the foul, and she bumped her from behind. They would have did a fantastic job with ball movement that time. And it eventually ended up in Shorter's hands, who knows what to do five feet from the bucket, right. and she finished it. Now Stephanie Short at the line for one. Her free throw is good. Nothing but the bottom of the net. And Winnemac back up 30-29 to 29 with 5.50 to play in the third. Brad Thomas, I'm David Musselman. We're at Rochester High School. Zone defense by the Lady Warriors. Holland has her pass tipped away and stolen by... Uh, 
And then we're going to have over and back. Yeah. I think that's a good call. Right. I think Barker got away with the travel on the, on the loose ball recovery. But I think, you know, it all starts with Alexa Holland. She's just got to take better care of the basketball. She's getting kind of uh, lackadaisical on her passes. Yeah, and you're Brogdon, right. Brogdon's not the kind of person you want to get lazy with. Yeah. 30-29. Winnemack on top, Rochester the basketball going to our right. Murphy drives the baseline left, and she's going to be fouled on the drive by Winnemack. It'll be out of bounds to uh, Rochester baseline left. Winnemack. Well, Winnemack fans were complaining about that over the back call, but Larkin, who jumped from the Rochester side to her side, did not have two feet established on the Winnemack side of the 10 second line when she grabbed the basketball. Yeah, you're absolutely right, yep. So that's Brant's third foul. She's come out of the game. Pass goes into St Stasiak through her legs, picked up by Shorter. Now ahead to Ingram. Ingram, job, jump stop to Brogdon. Left side to Larkin. Now in the corner to Chris. Back to Larkin. Now to Brogdon. Three top of the key for the Lady Warriors. No good. Brogdon makes that Pollock with the board. And now gives to Malco. Coach Stasiak says, hey, let's run. We're down by one. Five minutes to play in the third. And now, uh oh. Uh oh. Brogdon and Malco Speed got tangled up, and Bethany Brogdon is going to pick up the chief foul. Yeah, I wasn't even uh, sure that they even made contact. I kind of think that uh, it was Brogdon more <laughs> scared Malco more than anything. But that's her third foul. Now both uh, Brandt and Brogdon with three. Murphy will look to get it in right in front of the Rochester bench. Murph to Malco. Becky will cross the timeline. We'll set up the offense for the Lady Zebras down by one with 4.50 to play in the third quarter. Baseline to Stasiak. Keaton runs. And the wraparound pass is kicked out of bounds by Winnemack. It'll stay with the uh, Lady Zebras baseline left. Holland will look to get it in. Holland slaps the ball, bounce pass into Stasiak. Keaton dribbles to the top to Malco. Becky against Brogdon. Penetrates, kicks it out to X. Long three left wing is in and out, no good. Pollock with the rebound. B goes up, shot no good. And now we're going to go over the back now on B Pollock. Yeah, and it'll go back to Winnemack. Frustrating foul there for B Pollock. When the, you see that quite a little bit when the... When the big person in the front in the lane gets the uh, easy shot that goes that doesn't go yeah. off the glass, then they're in such a the frustration foul. frustration to get the rebound and put it back in that they end up going over the back. Degru back in the game, and she replaces Brogdon, who just picked up her third personal foul. Ingram top of the key, now left side of Chris. Down the corner to Larkin. And now we're going to have a foul down low again. Paul again, that'll be number three. As she and Shorter were going out of heart on the block. And Pollock's going to pick up foul number three, and Garrison is going to come back in. Look out. This is where Shorter could and probably should make a. Well, they've been trying to get it to Shorter ever since halftime, and Pollock's desperately been trying to front her, and she got caught that time behind trying to get in front as the pass came in. Garrison's going to have to be careful playing against an experienced post player like Shorter. Well, she's getting a lot of help from Stasiak right now. She's going to have to. To Groot, high on the right side, Crisp over the top of the defense to Shorter. Shorter stands with her feet on the three-point line in the left corner. Gives to DeGroot, now left side to Ingram. Back to DeGroot, right wing. Hand to DeGroot, one dribble, back to Ingram. Over the defense to Larkin, to Chris, to Ingram. Right side to DeGroot, inside the arc, right wing. And her pass is tipped away and stolen by Murphy. Murphy ahead to Holland. Holland, layup, go to the foul! Alexa Holland picks up where she left off from the, here in the third quarter. Holland has got about four to six points and that, that, that prayer to please go in type of bucket and that one uh, is included in that mix. Holland at the line for one, looking to push this Rochester lead to two. She does not. Free throws no good. Ball fought for and Stasiak and Larkin battle for it. It is tied up. It'll go to Winnemack. And Larkin trying to shake off the stinger on her left arm. Those three fans are starting to loom larger yeah. and larger every one they miss in a one and two point ball game. So Winnemack has it going to our left. DeGroote around the defense to Ingram. Back to DeGroote high on the right side. DeGroote splits the double team. Over to Larkin. Larkin to the left baseline to Chris. 335 to play. Third quarter. Rochester by one at 31-30. DeGroote right baseline to Shorter. Stephanie back to the Groot against the double team. Picks up her dribble. Now to Ingram. Ingram drives right. Jump pass to the Groot in the corner. 
DeGroote feeds down Luna Shorter, and she's going to be fouled on the entry pass by Garrison. And it's going to be out of bounds to Winnemac with 3.19 to play in the third with Rochester leading 31-30. to 30. Now Rochester in a 2-3 zone now, not that 1-3-1. And uh, it's causing a little bit more trouble for Shorter to find an opening. She's having to play farther and farther away from the basket. Larkin bounce pass to Shorter. Jumper over Garrison is good. Winnemac back up 32-31. Rochester runs to our right down by one. 3-10 to play in the third. Holland out to Malco, high on the left side. Becky now in the corner to X. She'll fire a three from the left baseline. Off the mark, no good. Ball being tipped around. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by the Lady Warriors. We'll stay with Rochester. That's unfortunate. There was all maroon jerseys underneath the basket. Yeah. One of them, all they had to do was just grab it. It was a tip, tip, out of bounds. <laughs> Holland looks to trigger it in. Baseline left. Over the defense to Malco at the volleyball line. Becky Study now to Murphy high on the left side. Everything behind the arc. Pollock out of the ball game right now for the Lady Zebras. Malco and Murphy really need to step up and make yeah, it offensively happen. Murph drives, and before the shot, she is fouled on the drive. It'll be out of bounds to uh, Rochester with 2.48 to play in the third. Warrior. Lady Warriors lead 32-31. Chris going to pick up her first for the Lady Warriors. Holland will look to get it in. Baseline left. Alexa looks. Looks. Gets it into Malco. Malco dribbles to the wing. Now right side to Murph. Looks at a three. Now drives. Throws up a shot on the baseline. It's good. From, uh, from senior Carly Murphy answers the call. 33-32 Rochester. DeGroot. Right wing. Now to Larkin. Left side to Ingram. In the corner to Chris. Back to Ingram. Left side. DeGroot top of the key. Right side pass. To Larkin. Now to Shorter. Shorter. Warriors are really going to work that ball around the horn. Ingram for three. Nope, makes that a two. It's good. Winnemac back up 34-33. That shot surprised me. I really thought they were going to swing it around until they could get Shorter open underneath. Well, Ingram was wide open. You're yeah. right. Murph in the right wing behind the arc. Works against the Groot. She's got to go. Now bounce pass to Malco. Under two to play in the third. Winnemac up 34-33. Holland on the wing, back to Malco, drives the baseline, cut off by the double team, bounce pass to Garrison. Garrison kicks it out to Murphy, three on the way, right wing, short, rebound to Stasiak, puts it up, good, foul! Stasiak again, with the shot and the foul. And it all comes from the, the offensive rebound. You know, she doesn't get near enough press because dad's coach. Yeah. I tell you what, I don't know if there's anybody working any harder on the floor right now than Keaton Stacey. You're right. Larkin picks up her third. That's huge. Keaton's free throw is good. Rochester up 36-34. And we have a minute 40 to play in the third quarter. Ingram with the basketball. Howard will come into the next opportunity. Taken away by Murphy, but she steps out of bounds. Well, Defensively for the Lady Zebras is where they're going to have to make things happen. With Pollock on the bench, Stasiak and Murphy really doing a good job of trying to step it up and put the pressure on down low on shorter. Larkin and Brogdon now on the bench. Chris runs the point, gives it to DeGroote left side. Looking for Howard. Over the top of the defense to Ingram. 90 seconds to play, third quarter. DeGroote for three, left handed shots, no good. And Malco with the board. Rochester runs up by two. Malco gets instructions from the bench. Works right side, crossover dribble at the free throw line. Takes it out to Holland. X now to Murphy high on the left side. Murph, one dribble, now bounce past him. Holland, down the corner to Malco. Malco takes a sneak peek at uh, Stasiak. Dribbles the top of the key, kicks it out to Holland. Just inside the arc, 15-footer, short. Rebound, fall four. And Shorter comes out of there with it. Shorter gives off to Chris with under a minute to play in the third quarter. Rochester by two, DeGroote. Top to Ingram, drives it to the elbow to Chris in the corner to Shorter. Shorter, looking, drives the baseline. Cut off by the double team, outside to Chris for three, short. And the rebound to Ingram for Winnemac. 40 seconds to play, third quarter. Shorter drives the baseline, throws up a shot over Garrison, it's no good. Team Stasiak in the rebound. Stasiak will take it coast to coast. She'll go to the basket. Her shot's no good, but a foul coming on Winnemac, and that's gonna send Stasiak back to the line to shoot two. It's coming against Shorter, that'll be her second. That could be big news, too. 32.6 to play in the third. Rochester up 36-34. And Keith Stasiak will go to the line to shoot two for the Lady Zebras. Keaton's first one. 
No good. Too hard off the back of the iron. She'll have one more. She's five of nine from the line right now is Stasiak. One more coming for Stasiak. Second one. Nope. And the rebound is shorter. 30 seconds to play. Third quarter. Rochester by two. Chris. Right side to Ingram with 24. Lob pass to Howard on the right baseline with 22. Back to Ingram. Now to DeGroote with 20. Back to Ingram with 19. Loses the handle. It, Howard there to pick it up. Against the double team with 14. Over the top of the defense to Ingram with 12. Now to DeGroote with 10. DeGroote in the baseline to Howard with 9. They still got a lot of time. Just fine. Now with 7. Down low to Howard. Now to DeGroote. Her jumper short with 3. Garrison with the rebound. Gives to X. And X does not get the shot off as the third quarter comes to an end. After three, win, uh, Rochester leads the Winnemac Lady Warriors 36-34. You're listening to High School Basketball 92.1 WROI. Come check out the amazing deals at the Winning Edge in Rochester. You'll find really huge savings. They offer in-store specials and they have the equipment, backpacks and duffels for your favorite sport. They carry major apparel brands including Under Armour, Russell, Adidas and so many more. Visit their webpage thewinnedge.com or their Facebook page. Call 574-223 6090. Quality products, unique customizing options, and friendly service from the winning edge. Route Place Drive, Rochester. Smith Farm Store has everything you need to get ready for fall. Cooler weather is on its way, and they have a great selection of United States stoves in stock, including pellet, multi fuel, and furnaces. Get those outdoor projects finished with the help of steel during fall steel days. Right now, buy an MS 271 chainsaw and get a free chain, or pick up a VG. 56 CE chainsaw and get a free safety combination pack. Smith Farm Store, your friendly local hardware store in Rochester and Plymouth. Quarter of the fourth quarter, the Lady Zebras leading 36-34. Rochester has three timeouts. And it looks like Rochester will start with the basketball in their fourth and final quarter. B. Pollock back on the floor for Rochester. Larkin and also Brogdon back on the floor for the Winnemac Lady Warriors. Brad Thomas, I'm David Musselman. Rochester's biggest lead is right where we're at. Two points. Yep, it's been tight all the way. I think Winnemac's biggest have been maybe five early on in this contest. Lady Zebra's seven of 15 from the free throw line. Holland shot no good. Ball tipped around. Winnemac comes out of there with it. Ingram against the double team. Dribbles out of trouble. Now pushes up the right side of the floor. Jump stop. Gives to Brogdon out top the to key. Bethany in the paint. Kicks it out to Larkin. Her three is in and out. No good. All over the rebound. She has not scored this second half, Larkin. She's been definitely been battle, that's for sure. X has her shot blocked. She gets it back, puts it up, and good. Collins <laughs> with her 19th point of the game. Now Rochester up by four, 38-34. Lob pass to Brand. Brand against the double team. And Stasiak knocks it out of bounds. And it will stay with Winnemac on the far side. 7-10 to play in the game. Rochester up 38-34. Winnemac with the basketball going to our left. Taylor Brandt will look to get it in. It looks like Rochester now will fight back in a 2-3 zone. That's worked this second half, the 2-3 zone. Ingram for three. Left wing. Nope. Murphy with the board. Murph pushes ahead to X. Holland on the right wing. Pulls up. Gives to Murphy. Top of the key. Sets up for Rochester offensively. Wrap around pass to Holland for three. Right side is good. 22 for Holland. 41 34. Seven point lead for the Lady Zebras with 6.40 to play in the game. Brogdon across the timeline. Picks up her dribble against the double team. Gives to Larkin in the right corner. Larkin bounce pass to Brogdon. Left side to Ingram. Ingram behind the arc against the double team. Gets it out to Brogdon at the volleyball line. High left side to wide open Larkin. Her layup is no good. And the rebound, fall for Shore, comes out of there with it. Her putback no good, but a foul coming on Rochester. I think they're going to catch Stasiak trying to tip the ball away from behind. See the ball, number 12. 6.24 to play in the ball game. Be her first. Keaton Stasiak and D picked up the foul. And Stephanie Shorter at the line to shoot two for Winnemac. Rochester up right now by seven. Free throw on the way is short by the senior. She'll have one more. Brad Thomas, I'm David Musselman. For the Lady Warriors, Brogdon, Larkin, and Brandt, all with three. Shorter second one. No good. A long rebound. A good block out by Pollock. First two free throws they've missed tonight. 
Brogdon just about steals the pass for Murphy to Holland. Holland has it now inside the arc. Backs it back outside in the corner. Got to get rid of it. Finally does to Malco on the right wing. Becky in the paint. Stops. Rises up. Shot. No good. Gets a rebound back. The putback is no good. And Keith Stanziak just picked up foul number two on the back. And both teams will be shooting from here on out. 6 to play in the game. Rochester up 41-34. And Brogdon will walk it up the floor for Winamax. Brogdon in the corner to Shorter. To a cutting Brogdon. Brogdon in the paint. Gives a Shorter jumper. Good! Great ball move between seniors. Give a go between Brogdon and Shorter. And the lead is cut to five. Rochester the basketball up by five. Malkin in the paint. Stops. Shot. It's no good, but a foul coming on Winamac, and that's going to send Malco to the line to shoot two. Uh, get through Brogdon. Winnemack picks up her four. So Becky Malco will go to the line to shoot two big ones here for the Lady Zebras at 5.45 to play in the game with Rochester up by five. Malco's first one high off the back of the rim and no good. She'll have one more. Wow. Say the girls are pressing a seven, little bit too hard now. Seven of 16 uh, on the line tonight are the Lady Zebras. And they're lucky to be ahead in this ball game. That kind of yeah, you're right. Chris back in the game and Brogdon with four personals will sit. Malco with one more for the Lady Zebras. Second on the way is good this time. 42-36, Rochester by six with 5.40 to play in the game. Larkin, right side to Ingram, high on the right side. Ingram, a couple of dribbles, picks it up over the defense to Crisp. Now left side to Larkin. Larkin, who had the hot hand in the first half, has been awfully quiet here in the second. She's not scored in the second. Brandt, right corner. To Ingram, back to Brandt, down to Shorter, Shorter against Pollock, jumper, good! And she has, Shorter has, now 13 on the game. Very quiet first half, and she's come on here with nine in the second. Yeah, nine in the second, you're right. Malco, crossover dribble, at the elbow, out to Holland. X, five feet behind the arc, gives to Malco. Malco drives the baseline, cut off by the defense, dumps down low to Pollock, B in the lane, she's before the shot, we're going to have a foul. And B will go to the line to shoot one in the bonus for the Lady Zebras. That's well, coming against Grant. That's her foul. They're going to say she was shooting. <laughs> she'll go, oh, that was a 10 foul. I beg your pardon. Yeah. So she'll go to the line to shoot two. Pollock with just four points in the ballgame tonight. B has two freebies. First one for the senior. Yep. 43-38, Rochester on top with five minutes to play in the ball game. And if B, if B makes this, I'm guessing they're going to, well, we'll see. <laughs> I'm guessing a timeout. Second one for the senior. Good again. Yep. Rochester will use a 60. You're listening to Ladies Super Basketball on 92.1 WROI. If you want to improve your farming efficiency and profits, rely on New Holland Precision Land Management Solutions from New Holland Rochester. They put the latest technology on your side to save you money for a faster return on your investment. PLM helps you achieve perfectly straight, repeatable passes, eliminating double application of seed and fertilizer, and allows you to analyze your field data. Discover what you can save with PLM Solutions from New Holland. They are experts in the field, so you can get more precision in yours. Stop by New Holland, Rochester, Highway 25 South, today. And we are it's all in the name, and at All About Pets, it really is all about pets. All About Pets, downtown Rochester, is your locally owned pet store that caters to you and your pet. They work hard to bring the very best in pet supplies to our area. Choose from premium pet foods, pet health care supplies, toys and treats, small animal food, pet accessories, fish and aquarium supplies. That's All About Pets, one block north of the courthouse on Main Street in Rochester. Their only business is to enhance the happiness of your pet. And we're all about Rochester has two timeouts left. Winnemac has four. Val Ciceras, the sports editor, under, editor of the Rochester Signal, just uh, gave us a nice little stat. Yeah, the Winnemac is six of eight from the free throw line tonight. Those eight attempted free throws are more than the last three Rochester opponents that they've faced. Combined. Combined. Wow. So it gets a little man-to-man -man press. Go it out. Get there, get there, get there. 
Ball goes down a little shorter, and Shorter is going to be fouled by B. Pollock. That's her fourth. And Shorter will go to the line to shoot one of the bonus, as B was going to give her one of those hit moves with the leg, trying to push her out of the lane, and she's whistled for it, and that's now four on B. Pollock. And the line shoot one. And Coach Stasiak will let her ride. Okay, you about have to. I mean, you can't. He can't afford to lose her, but no, he won't. He's going to change it. Take her out for maybe a couple of minutes and get her in for the last two and a half or three. Well, this is a good place to be. You know, you needed to be tested. What happens yep. if your bigs get in trouble? And well, Garrison did a good job when she came in before. Shorter's one and one is no good. And Stasiak with the rebound. 4.45 to play in the game. 44-38, Rochester. And Holland walks it slowly up the floor. Now to Malco high on the right side. And now it looks like B will yeah, be no. the post player in the middle. I'm sorry, uh, Murphy will be the post yeah. player. The Lady Zebras are going to be very patient. They need to take care of the basketball. Holland and Rochester now will run some clock. Murphy, Holland high on the left side. 4.23 to play in the game. Rochester up 44-38. Yeah. Winnemack is not going to let them stall the last four minutes of this basketball game. Right. It's going to have to be very methodical with their passes. Stasiak holds behind the arc left wing. Couple of dribbles out of Malco on the right side. Malco against the double team. Back to Stasiak. Just about has the ball stolen. Keaton has it on the right wing. Bounce pass now to Holland with under four minutes to play in the game. Well, there goes 45 seconds. And that's saying something against his Winnipeg defense. Yeah, you're right. Murphy near the timeline. Chris comes out of the play pressure. Dribbles away from the defense. Has the ball stolen, but we're going to have a foul coming on Larkin. And that's going to send Murph to the line to shoot two. So Larkin now with four. 3.47 to play in the game. 44-38. Rochester the lead. And Murphy in the line to shoot two for the Lady Zebras. Number 54, Carly Murphy. Murph ready. Fires one of two. Nope. Brogdon back into the game, and Chris will sit. So you can tell by Coach Wagner's approach here, he's put both girls on the floor with four personals is going to go here. Yeah, he's all in. Murphy will have one more. Second one, no good, in and out. Keith stays back the rebound. The putback is no good, and short of the board. From an ill-advised shot by Keaton since she was behind the bank. Yeah, yeah. But excellent Just job about, of getting about win. Yeah, excellent job of getting the rebound. Six-point lead in favor of Rochester. Larkin for three, right wing is no good. Rebound tipped around, Holland comes out of there with it. Holland on the right wing. Hesitates, now slows up behind the arc on the right side. Now dribbles out of trouble, gives to Murphy high in the middle. Now left side to Malco. Pollock will come back into the game the next opportunity. 3.15 to play in the game. Rochester at 44-38. Malco out to Holland. Holland looks at the sideline for help. Now dribbles to the left elbow, kicks it out to Murphy. Good pressure by the Lady Warriors. They're Murphy. really squeezing the basketball, forcing the Lady Zebras to do something with it. Bounce pass to Malco. She dribbles to the middle. Now around the defense, in the lane, throws up a shot, it goes! Becky Malco with two big ones right there to push the lead to eight. At 46-38, baseball pass down to Ingram. Her jumper is off the mark, no good. And the rebound and the pass from a shorter to Brandt is tied up between Brandt and Murphy. will stay with Winnemac baseline left. Chris coming back into the game for Winnemac. Uh, Brandt will sit. Pollock will come back in, and timeout. Garrison will sit. Rochester will use, I'm sorry, Winnemac will use a 30-second timeout. You're listening to High School Basketball, 92.1 WROI. Statistics show that 99% of all farms are family-owned. If you're a farmer, you want to make certain that you carry on the family tradition by passing it down to the next generation. Make certain that you protect your heritage by talking to your Pekin Insurance Agency, Jennings Insurance in Rochester and Argus. They'll help you create an estate plan for your farm that will treat all heirs equally Equally, even those who don't farm and have sufficient funds for income, gifts, and estate taxes. You can do all this and more with the right insurance plan from Jennings Insurance, representing Pekin Insurance. Call 574-224-7777 in Rochester and 574-892-5249 in Argus today about carrying on the family legacy for years to come. Zebra Basketball, WROI. 241 to play in the game. Rochester out to their biggest lead of the evening of 8 at 46-38. Winnemack has a baseline left. Chris around the defense, throws up a shot from the free throw line off the back of the iron. No good, Malco the rebound. Becky Malco for Rochester brings it up the floor. 
crosses the timeline, and Coach Stasiak says, let's spread it out. But Malco goes to the paint. Oh, oh. Pollock, if she could have handled that pass clean, she had an easy way. Wide open, you're right. Kicks it out to Murphy. Now to Malco between the rings of the volleyball line. She holds around the defense. Now to Murphy high on the left side. Murphy stands about 10 feet behind the three-point line. Goes in the paint. Goes and dribbles through the paint. Now on the right wing. Picks up her dri uh, dribble. Gives to Holland. Holland through the lane. Now on the left wing. We're down to two minutes to play in the game. Holland around the defense. Goes in the lane. Back to back out. Well, I think runs Coach, away from Brogdon. Coach Stasiak may have mentioned that uh, several of the players with four fouls. Pollock is fouled on that shot. She is fouled by Ingram, and B will go to the line to shoot two. Yeah, you're right. It's the Lady Warriors with four fouls, and uh, the Lady Zebras are doing a good job of dribbling the ball around, looking for an opportunity. And the line for the Zebras, shooting two, number 22. Winnemag will use a 60 second timeout. You're listening to High School Girls Basketball, 92.1 WROI. Fulton County Best One Tire is so much more than just tires. They offer a complete line of service with quality you can depend on. Ask their friendly staff about an oil change, transmission flush, brake service, alignment, or even an engine replacement. Or stop by and see their experts about a custom exhaust. They also keep the area's largest tire inventory in stock. Right now, you can take advantage of great rebate programs. Just call Doug or Todd at 223-2103. Fulton County Best One Tire where the most important person to them is you. They're located at the corner of Fort Wayne Road and Highway 25 North in Rochester. Coca-Cola Bottling Company of Plymouth wants you to enjoy your world. And now the basketball, swimming, and wrestling are back. And college and pro football continue. There's plenty to do. So whether it's heading for the gym, holiday open houses, and getting together with friends and family, grab the refreshingly clean taste of Coca-Cola, Diet Coke, Coke Zero, Sprite, and Sprite Zero. Make sure you have plenty of Coca-Cola products on hand, either from the store or the vending machine. Coca-Cola products go great with everything you do. It's the real thing. It's Coca-Cola. Basketball. A minute 51 to play in the game. Rochester leads 46-38. B. Pollock on the line to shoot two for Rochester looking to push this lead to 10. But if this uh, free, these free throws go like the games have. No, it won't be good. Yeah. 10 of 21 on the Lady Zebras tonight from the line. B. Pollock, however, two for two. B has two. First one for the senior. Nope. Too hard. She'll have one more. Next time. A minute 51 to play in regulation. Rochester up by eight at 46-38. One more coming for the senior looking to push this lead to nine. Be ready. Eyes a second one. Let's her fly. It's no good. And the rebound. Fall for him. And Winnemac comes out of there with it. Shorter with the board and run. Stephanie Shorter outside right now behind the arc in the minute 40. Goes to the baseline. Switches hands. Now Larkin to Brogdon, fakes the three inside the arc, 15-footer is short, and the ball is knocked out of bounds by Ingram. It'll go back to Rochester, and Coach Stacey has turned it for an over-the-back call, which eh, yeah, probably is close. The Lady Warriors' troubles continue. They had 27 first-half points. They've only scored 11 since then. Yeah. And it's not that they haven't had open looks or good looks. They just haven't fallen. 90 seconds. Half-court trap. Keaton has it now in the left corner. Keaton Stasiak around the defense. Baseline down little Brogdon. And it's going to be knocked out of bounds. Brogdon hits, I'm sorry, uh, Pollock hits the deck hard. Knocked out of bounds by Winnemac. It'll stay with Rochester. Baseline right with 80 seconds to play in the game. 46-38 Rochester. Holland will trigger it in underneath her own basket. Holland looking, gets it in the corner to Malco. Malco dribbles to the wing, now to the top of the key, being chased by the defense. Malco now on the right side, in the paint, kicks it out to Holland, now on the left elbow. She's on the wing now, around the defense, through the defense, in the paint. It's keeping away, a minute five to play, and she smiles <laughs> like, hey, this is fun, catch somebody, me if you can. Somebody found me, yeah. A minute to play in the game, and Holland is just fouled by Ingram, and that's going to send Alexa Holland to the line to shoot. Two shots at 57.8 to play in the game. Rochester by eight. Holland was 22 in the game tonight. This is her first, well, second trip to the free throw line. The best thing she did tonight, outside that 22 points, she just ran off a minute yeah. by just running around in circle. Basketball. Well, the Lady Warriors' only other loss, as Holland misses yet another free throw, was to Culver. Yeah, Culver yeah. game is Rochester's next opponent on Tuesday night. They are undefeated without Tatum Schultz. 
Yeah, but they lost their best player. Yeah. Second one is good by X. 47-38, 57 seconds to play in the game. Larkin to Chris, a little full-court pressure by Rochester. Larkin to the center circle, and she loses the basketball, right hands to Chris. Now right side to Ingram. Ingram drives to the baseline, lock pass down a little shorter, the ball tipped away, right of hands of Malco. And now Malco is fouled by Shorter, and that's gonna send Becky Malco to the line to shoot two with 44 and a half to play in the game. Rochester by nine. Becky Malco will go to the line to shoot two free throws for the Rochester Lady Zebras. Stephanie Shorter just picked up foul number three for the Lady Warriors. Becky ready. Fires the first one. No good off the back of the iron. She'll have one more. No, Coach Stasek is not going to like that stat when he sees it. He's going to like the fact that they got to the line 22 times. Absolutely. Not the result. This team is out of reach if they hit, if they hit both free throws. If they shoot 50%, yeah. it's out of reach. You're right. Ingram, right wing, down low to Shorter. Shorter backs her way in. Her pass is tipped out of bounds by Murphy with 35.8 to play in the game. Rochester up 47-38. Yeah. It'll be a Winnemac baseline win. Criticized them before for only shooting 50%. They've been happy with that tonight. Yeah, you're right. Chris. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right side to Brogan. Brogan, long three. Nope. Short. And the rebound to Stasiak. Keaton then throws it out of bounds. And it'll stay with uh, Winnemac baseline left with 25 seconds to play in the game. Rochester by nine. Larkin gets it into Shorter. Outside to Chris. Now quickly to Brogdon. In the corner to Larkin. 4-3 right. Baseline is good. That's her first point for the second half. 15 seconds to play in the game. Holland, baseball pass to Stasiak. Stasiak is ran over by Ingram and she'll go to the line to shoot two. With 10.7 to play in the game, Rochester now by six. Larkin with a great big three there to pull the Lady Warriors within six. With 10 and a half seconds to play in the game, Stasiak at the line for two big ones. At least one of them for the Zebras. Number 12, Keaton Stasiak shooting two. Keaton Stasiak at the line for Rochester. She'll have two. Keaton's first one is up and short and in. Hits the front of the iron and hits the backboard and goes through. One out of seven. Rochester up by seven. And one more for the sophomore. Looking to push this one back to eight with 10.7 to play in the game. Keaton eyes a second and lets her fly. It's good again. 49-48. Brogdon bring it up with 10. Brogdon across the timeline with seven. Brogdon on the right wing with six. Loses the basketball. It's loose to Shorter with three. Her jumper with two seconds of two and that'll do it. Rochester defeats Winnemac here tonight at Rochester High School on a final of 49-43. Both games all coming up after this on 92.1 WROI.